October is here and so is the Eclipse. Eclipse videos are made already but today is for every ascendant the month of October as per your Lagna, your rising sign. Alright, not moon sign, not sun sign, your ascendant rising sign Lagna. From that you need to see and you can go to your uh, zodiac sign and uh, it's an intense month to be very honest because of the eclipse and as you know eclipses will give results in the first six months okay so therefore be prepared for it okay and as usual if you are new then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and for personalized consultations you can go to my website down in the description section and don't forget to the thumbs up if you enjoy the content and god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him and again announcement for the india trip new delhi 25th november to 2nd of december for eight days if you want to have a personalized consultation please send an email at exotic astrology at the rate gmail.com and for guwahati it is 10th december to uh, 10th of january 2025 all right so the same email exotic astrology at gmail.com Please send an email. All right. So for Aries ascendance, the first 15 days approximate, as you know, the sun will be in the sign of Virgo, which is your sixth house. So your health might require some attention, you know, especially related to digestion and your metabolic uh, situation. Uh, and, you know, you will want to focus considerably in your profession and you will want to be strong and you will want to be very bold and very confident. And you will want to overcome obstacles at your work to bear the actual results. Okay, so now you will be like, no, I need to do it. I don't care who says what, but now is the time I will have to do it. So you will become very competitive or you might be forced to become competitive. Okay, and there could be some issues with your legal matters if things escalate. Okay, and relationships with your colleagues may undergo some strain because, um, yeah, I mean... Uh, it's important that you stay diplomatic, but at the same time, you have to say what you feel, okay? And then the next 15 days, as you know, sun will enter Libra, which will be your seventh house. So then you will focus more on partnerships, you know, business and personal relationships. So for you, the first 15 days will appear as if you have to, you have to do everything yourself, okay? <clears throat> but then gradually you'll realize that, no, I don't need to do everything myself. I I can do better if I collaborate with others, okay? So there could be some issues in your marriage also or, you know, with your business partner. So this is something you'll have to rectify. And there could be ego clashes, you know, and there could be more opportunities to do collaboration, you know, to do kind of a balancing act, you know, if required, mutual benefits, uh, with mutual benefits, of course. And try your best to avoid confrontation in the... In the last 15 days, okay, the second half of the month and try to be more cooperative, all right? Aries, take care. Taurus, for the first 15 days, Sun will be in Virgo, which is your fifth house. So therefore, your focus will be all, you know, creative projects and they will receive a boost. And it's a great time for artists and writers and also students. Relationships with your children may improve or it may go downhill. All right, so be prepared. If it is if it's going downhill, be prepared to improve it. Okay. And if you are planning for kid having kids, this is a perfect time to move ahead. Uh, and if this is if the if your dasha is favorable, your your wife might also conceive during this time. Okay. All right. Financial gains from speculative activities, you know, like investment stocks and all this uh, could be there, you know, trading could be there on cards. And of course, romance, love life, they will also be there, okay? Uh, and uh, you will be actively involved with in all this, okay? But then after 15th, when the sun moves to Libra, it's your sixth house, which is very peculiar because Libra energy and sixth house, they are not the best, okay? <laughs> so, this is like a situation where uh, you are trying your best to you know, kind of, yeah, settle certain things with uh, people that you are not very comfortable with. Or, you know, some issues in your relationships, you know, there could be some issues related to your kidney or lower back, you know, or you might need to go to the doctor for more checkups. So, work pressure will increase and there might be some challenges dealing with, you know, authority figures especially. 
But in general, you will want to make peace at your workplace, okay? And you may achieve it or you may not achieve it. So, com and enemies or competitors at work would become more active. So, you need to be alert and vigilant. Somebody might spread fake news against you, okay? So, be disciplined, be punctual and be assertive. That's the key for you, Taurus, okay? In the next half of the month, all right? Take care, Taurus. Now, we go to Gemini. The first 15 days, sun will be in your fourth house. And domestic life, you know, relationships with your family will be highlighted. And there are possible improvements which you might need by choice or by force in your home. Okay, so some real estate, you know, some repair. <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, real estate property dealings might yield favorable results. Okay, so therefore, if you are into real estate, then this is a phenomenal period. Utilize this, okay. And at the same time, you might go for purchasing a house or, you know, a vehicle. And uh, inner peace and emotional satisfaction might increase or decrease, okay? So, this is a good time to learn something. Fourth house is also learning. So, learn a bit. This is a period where you will be more in the background because the fourth house is Patal, where the sun is in the night, right? So, therefore, your career might require you to upgrade yourself with some new technologies, new skill, new knowledge. Okay, that's very important. <clears throat> so, avoid making major changes in your profession. And then the next 15 days, sun is in Libra in your fifth house. Fantastic period. Brilliant. So, you're, you will enjoy your relationships with your children or with your lover, no, with your creativity, with your hobbies, you know, with uh, spending time with people that you love in general, okay? family or spouse or anybody, okay? So, investments, speculation could yield profits, you know, trading uh, could be there. But the problem with 5th house Libra is you might over trade and you might lose all the money. So, avoid taking excessive risks. And romantic relationships will certainly blossom and uh, you might find somebody to get into a relationship with, okay? So, therefore... Go into recreational activities, uh, go into hobbies and bring relaxation into your life. So essentially for you in the first half, you should learn and stabilize yourself and then enjoy externally. Okay, And also internally, most important. Okay, Thank you, Gemini. Now we go to Cancer. So what's going on, Cancer? Cancer, the first 15 days, our house is active because Surya will be in Vargo. This is very incredible because the sun in third house can illuminate your communication, you know, your travel, networking, meeting people in general, your acquaintances also. So, short trips for work will be beneficial and your relationships with your siblings might go up or it may go down depending on your lashas, okay. <laughs> A good time to enhance your skill set through learning and giving interviews, practical, practical analysis. Yeah, that's very important. So, educate yourself, practice and give exams. Okay. So, it's a great time to get a certification. Brilliant time. So, your courage and efforts will bring success in career matters. Because third house is courage. So, you will have to show courage. Okay. So, the first 15 days, there could be some displacement, travel, you know, like brushing up of skills. But the next 15 days, your focus will shift into something serious, you know, like shifting... Spending time with your home, you know, family members and more of like, you know, emotional matters, your inner chambers, okay. So, real estate investments or decisions regarding property might arise. That might be beneficial for you. Now, work-life balance could become a bit of challenge. So, people in your home might complain that you are not giving time. So, make sure you give time, okay. And you may sometimes feel, you know, emotionally burdened. Why? Because the Libra energy is there. So, you may feel... What is this? You know, I'm trying my best. You know, my mother is complaining. My father is complaining. My wife or husband, my children are complaining. You know, like, what is happening? I, I'm not able to give time to them, nor to my profession. Okay. <clears throat> so, therefore, you need to pay attention to your family members in the second half. Okay. And also, you need to learn. So, the first 15 days. Your focus should be on brushing up existing skills. And then the next 15 days, your focus should be on learning new things. Okay. This is very important. <laughs> so, 
have fun the first 15 days and the next 15 be serious. All right. <laughs> Cancer, take care. Now, Leo, Sigma, Lagna, the first 15 days, Surya and Virgo in second house, finances will require stability. There could be some issues in your family or your married life. There could be opportunities to increase your savings or income. Communication within the family might improve or it might get worse depending on your dashas, okay? And there might be a focus on your family lineage, you know, family wealth. Jaidat. <laughs> Pushtani. <laughs> Jaidat. All right, so now. I understand it's the Virgo energy and you might become too picky about eating, you know, like I should eat this, that, how much I should eat this much, that much, you know, whatever it is. Okay. So you should do it in moderation, not just the eating, even the dieting. Now, what does, what this means is you might over diet and then out of frustration, you might over indulge in food. Okay. This is one danger. So therefore, you might have issues related to your throat or voice uh, also. You know, but it's a good time to shuffle your assets, you know, like from stock to buy property or sell property and buy stocks. Either ways, create new financial ventures, okay? And the next 15 days, Surya will be in Libra, which is your third house. Uh, this is phenomenal. So this is a time where you should express yourself in a good way, you know, in you should focus on your communication and relationships with your siblings, you know, might need some attention, you know, and try your best to avoid arguments. Now, this is a favor trying for traveling, short distance travel for doing any marketing or media related work or opening a YouTube channel or, you know, going viral in Instagram or bold decisions in your career might be required. So, for example, third house is the house of interviews. So, you might give some interviews and you might, you know, kind of crack some big job, but then uh, you might be a bit confused in regards to you know, should you take that job. So you will have to be confident and you will have to make the best use of this period. Okay, so go for it. Don't worry. Don't fear. All right. All the best, Leo's. Now we go to Virgo. Virgo, first house, the first 15 days. So this is a powerful time to focus on your personal growth, you know, self-growth. Leadership especially, very, very, very important. So you'll feel very confident and energetic, but avoid being overly critical. I know Virgos, you are overly critical of everybody, but most importantly yourself. <laughs> okay. And this eclipse energy can, you know, take this to the next level. Okay. So therefore, it's okay to fail sometimes. May not be every time, but you will fail sometimes. Okay. So relationships might feel that, you know, yeah, people with whom you have relationships, they might feel you are neglecting them and you are focusing too much on yourself, okay? So, and you may become too obsessed with your health, you know, oh, from tomorrow every day I'll go to the gym, you know, the golden statement which everybody gives, right? And physical fitness will improve, okay? And then the next 15 days, sun will be in Libra in your second house. So, this is a very powerful time to focus on your family, you know, finance-related matters, family and speech, okay? So financial growth is likely, but watch out for unnecessary expenditure. This is very important. You might have too many expenses and family relations might improve or they may go down depending on your dashas, okay? So there could be some discussion in your family about, you know, your wealth and assets, you know, like there could be some discussion, you know, like your father and mother are discussing, we have this property, that property, you know, what should we do, you know, where should we invest and all this. So be prepared for that and in general it's a great time for you know having children or getting married or even getting a new job okay so it's a good time for investing or seeking advice on our finance related matters okay so overall this is a great time to focus on your wealth your health and your family all right all the best for you. so now we go to tula lagna so libra lagna what is going on Libra Lagna, the first 15 days, a tough one. Okay, sun is in the 12th house. So, you might feel a bit off. <laughs> you may feel, oh, life is, life is tough. <laughs> so, expenses will be high. And you might be forced to shell out money for things like which you absolutely did not plan for. Okay. So, be prepared for surprises. Eclipse in the 12th house. Okay. Be prepared for surprises, Libra Lagna. 
and then there could be issues in your foreign travel, you know, visa and all this crap. And there could be some feeling of being isolated or feeling, feeling like, you know, lonely, like, you know, nobody is there with you. You are all by yourself. Okay. So feelings of solitude, or it could be a great time indeed, on the contrary, for introspection and spiritual growth. So during this time, you know, hidden enemies might resurface. So be cautious in dealing with them. Okay. And try to pay attention to your sleep pattern because your sleep may be heavily disrupted. And this can cause issues in your mental health. Okay, this is it's imperative that you take care. And the next 15 days, life will be back to you. Sun will be in Libra in your first house as the Lord of the 11th house. So your charisma will increase. You will feel more confident. You know, you will your health will improve. You know, you may feel rejuvenated, or you may feel life is normal again. Okay, so it's a great time to take lead in professional matters. You know, especially uh, in terms of you know professional growth. Okay new opportunities, uh, but at the same time, try to avoid ego conflicts. And relationships may feel a bit strained at this moment because you are focusing too much on yourself, but you need to be mindful of the needs of your spouse and other people in general also, all right? So Libra, brace yourself for the first 15 days and then life will get back to normal, all right? Thank you so much, take care. Now we go to Scorpio, Vrishchik, Lagna, what is going on the first 15 days? Brilliant. Surya is in your 11th house. Fantastic. There will be gains from friendships, network circles, social connections, you know. Uh, you could have, you know, name, fame, power, position, authority, awards, recognition, prize, scholarship, whatever. <laughs> Anything that you desire can be fulfilled. Financial benefits and recognition at work would happen provided your dashas are agree. If not, then maybe not. So it's a great time to pursue your long-term goals. Okay, like long-term, what do you want to do five years, ten years from now? Long-term aspirations, okay? And your social life will be very active. You will meet many people and there will be an expansion of your circle. So your circle will get bigger, bigger and bigger. But only for the first 15 days. <laughs> and then after that, you guys suddenly feel, oh, what's this? You know, sun has entered my 12th house. Life doesn't feel that great anymore. <laughs> Nobody is calling to check on check on me, you know. What the hell is going on? Nobody is interested on me. Everybody just wants to know about themselves. Nobody wants to know about how I am. <laughs> so this is what happens when the sun transits the twelfth. So you might feel like you are not that important anymore. <laughs> okay. The world is fine without you. You don't matter anymore. <laughs> So expenses will rise, you know, properly, especially related to like travel and, you know, like uh, this is a time to get rid of old bad habits also and prepare for a new, new phase of life, okay. So watch out for people who are working against you behind the scenes, very important, you know, hidden enemies or there could be hospitalization. So meditation, spiritual practices is recommended and don't fear solitude, embrace it, Scorpio. All right, take care. Sagittarius is, this is a great time Sagittarius, you are the winner of this month, congratulations, hit it hard, okay. <laughs> so the first 15 days, Surya is in Virgo in your 10th house, phenomenal, eclipse in your 10th house, brilliant, like stupendous, okay, anything else. <laughs> so career development is likely, you will want name, fame, power, position, authority, brilliance, recognition and uh, your reputation will also grow. You may receive offers for leadership positions, you know, to be a manager or the vice president or the CEO or CEO or whatever, you know, <laughs> of a particular company. <clears throat> and avoid conflicts with authority figures, okay? This is something which you need to be aware of. Everything is good except this, okay? And your authority figures, your boss or your manager could become a hindrance in your uh, in your success, okay? So they may try to steal credits. It is possible. So balance your work and your professional uh, life, your personal life also. So personal, professional, you know, work-life balance is imperative, okay? And then the next 15 days, sun will be in Libra, fantastic, in your 11th house. So you will have networking, uh, you know, with friends and acquaintances, associates. They will bring great opportunities for you. 
and you will receive a lot of financial rewards, okay, through your career or investments, okay. A lot of unearned money could be there. And focus on your long-term goals and you will make significant progress. So it's a great time to socialize and expand your influence. And try to prove not to others but to yourself that you are worthy of something bigger, okay. Not to gain external validation or achievement but to be that person who is super disciplined. All right, Sagittarius, congratulations and please take care. All right, thumbs up to you. Capricorn, Capricorn, fantastic. You are also the winners like Sagittarius. Why? Because the first 15 days, sun is in Virgo in your ninth house. Fantastic. This, oh, final relief after the eighth house, right? <laughs> So you'll focus on learning, spirituality, long distance travel, you know, like it's a great time to connect with your mentors or, you know, teachers and expand your knowledge, religions, or philosophy, you know, inner peace, you know, finding a spiritual community, finding your guru, finding God, you know, travel opportunities, especially for work or spiritual reasons. Fantastic. Ninth house is the house of Bhagya and whatever is there in your destiny <laughs> will open up, all right? The good ones especially. And then the next 15 days, Surya is in your 10th house in Dikbal. Fantastic this is. Or maybe not. <laughs> well, it is fantastic indeed, but it will also depend on your dashas. Okay, so for example, you will want to take center stage in your uh, career and you know your hard work will lead to recognition. So you may get leadership roles, you may, you may get new opportunities, you may get, you know, some issues uh, with your superiors. You may not be happy if somebody is, you know, trying to uh, steal credits and you may try to be very diplomatic because it's Libra, but it may not work, okay? So this is a period where the, the second half, you will have to prove to everybody that you are worthy. You will have to do it, okay? There's no option. So be prepared to... Be prepared to uh, hit the hit the nail hard, okay? <laughs> I mean, you, you have to show that you are the boss here, okay? Not because you want to bully others or you want to dominate others, but to prove your worth and to show that you are a sincere person, okay? So therefore, this is a fantastic time, great time to push for new opportunities. So if you get a chance to prove yourself, don't shy away from it. Capricorn, thumbs up, congratulations, take care, all right? Aquarius, what's going on with Aquarius? The first 15 days, sun is in, hmm, sun is lost. <laughs> lost where? Where is the sun lost? In the house of darkness, which is the 8th house, right? Ooh, there could be unexpected changes related to finances, you know, like inheritance, insurance and what not, right? It's like 8th house is the graveyard, smasha. <laughs> So pay attention to your health, especially inflammation. Okay, there could be too much inflammation. Try to control your anger. And there could be some issues with your, you know, reproductive organs or, you know, you might have too much mental stress. Now, what you should do is whenever you are having this stress, try to dovetail this, channelize this in uh, into research, mysticism, you know, occult or try to go deep into the unknown. Okay, mysteries of the universe. You can read more about cosmology astronomy astrology also <laughs> so your relationships may undergo some transformation with some power struggle surfacing okay very 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 important mm -hmm. and then the next 15 days life is back to normal <laughs> because the sun will enter your ninth house which is a fantastic house for the sun okay so focus on higher education travel you know spiritual growth relationships with your mentors you know and uh, otherly figures and it's a great time to learn something you know enroll yourself into a new course or a new master's or new bachelor's or you know new nano degree or a new PhD so but for work or education related reasons you might have to travel to a different place okay so opportunities for work will grow through foreign connections or uh, other people but you will have to travel, okay? So therefore, the first half of the month can be a bit tough and then it will stabilize gradually later on, all right? Don't take, uh, don't worry and take care, Aquarius, okay? <clears throat> now, last but not the least, as always, we go to Pisces. What is happening? The sun is in the your seventh house initially, right? The first 15 days in Virgo. And then 
relationships both personal and professional will be on the spotlight so now you will kind of feel you know oh yeah that's enough you know i have spoken too much about myself you know now i have to kind of you know also think about others even though i don't like it <laughs> so you will want to flourish your with your partnerships with your partners okay but there will be ego clashes with your spouse and you know business partners and they may be a bit frustrated and they may say that you are only thinking of yourself you are not thinking of me okay so therefore business deals and collaborations will be favorable but avoid impulsive decisions you may think that you know oh this is good for me but is it good for the other person and your partnership if not then be careful okay and don't take a decision by yourself always consult your spouse or your business partners before you make a decision so be diplomatic and at the same time be original don't be fake all right and then the next 15 days uh, the sun will be in the libra in your 8th house this is again a tough one this is a period when your you know your relationships might be tested a bit okay so for example you know this is like a period of transformation with a focus on you know inheritance or you know joint assets you know joint finances okay uh, and you know taxes especially you might have to pay income tax or any tax okay and there could be sudden expenses or unexpected gains so depending on your dasha if the dasha is bad you will have losses and dasha is good you will have gains okay so focus on self improvement and let go of emotional baggage this is very important so health might also need some attention from your side especially your mental well being because eighth house as you know as i always say is the graveyard okay so relax and try to bring meditation try to do spiritual practices okay the more you do this the more you will be benefited all right so thank you so much pisces don't worry take care and focus on your partnerships all right take care jai sri ram everyone